Hey friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you a quick spray painted DIY. We are going to spray paint mats with this golden sunset yellow and this oasis blue spray paint. And the first thing that we're going to do is put a blue stripe in the center of our mat. For what we're doing with ours, we don't have to be really perfect here. It doesn't have to be the whole mat. We're just kind of putting a line in the center so we have enough room to kind of put, we're gonna put our names on top of them. So we're just doing a stripe. Next, we're taking this alphabet puzzle from the Dollar Tree and we're going to spell out our name. Obviously this puzzle only has one letter each, so if you need more than one letter per name, make sure you buy enough mats to make that happen. I found that it helped to have the letters a little bit closer together and kind of just pulse my spray paint just like this and it prevented the letters from moving around. What? That's actually so cool though. Because the, other, the letters were different colors and then the um, colors changed. After I spray painted the names just by kind of pulsing it, I made sure to kind of put a big yellow circle around the entire center of the mat so we could do our second step, third step, fourth step, I don't know, but <laughs> make sure you have that yellow sun in the middle. And then we're just taking off our alphabet letters and we can see his name underneath of it in that blue. And then what's it spell? I really didn't wait for these to dry that long. Really, I was making four mats, so really I did each step and then kind of put that mat to side to do the other three and then moved right on to the next step after I finished those three mats, if that makes sense. So we are putting this sun, this is also from the Dollar Tree, in the center of our mat. Carter is spraying my feet with blue spray paint. <laughs> And then we are going to spray the entirety of the outside of the mat with that Oasis blue color. So we're kind of using the sun as a stencil here. I wasn't very clear with my directions with Carter, so he is just spray painting the sun blue. You don't have to spray the sun part blue, you're just spraying around the sun blue because it's going to cover up his name and leave a pretty cool design on his mat. What's it look like? <sighs> Hold on, careful. It's wet. All right, put it in the driveway so it can dry, okay? Hey, look. Pick your son up nice and careful. Hold on. What's it say? I gave each of the kids a turn trying the spray paint and kind of seeing how it works and how the spray paint kind of shoots out and stuff. But for the most part, I went back and sprayed to make sure that all of those spots were really taken care of. But I just, I wanted them to have that opportunity to kind of play with the spray paint too. And by the end of the day, we were covered in paint, but that's how summer should end, right? <laughs> you should end the summer dirty. Three, two, one. Careful, it's wet. What's it say? Nice, dude. What's that say? Don't touch, it's wet. Are your fingers blue? <laughs> no. And here they all are. I'm just absolutely thrilled with how great these turned out. I think we're gonna use them as kind of like placemats or like sitting squares. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up. Tap that bell. And let me know down in the comments what kind of summer projects are on your to-do to-do list this year. Bye, guys.